With the proper conditions and care, air plants will produce offsets or pops. Offsets, offshoots, pops, FYI, same thing. Hi guys! <laughs> Tilanches, also known as air plants, are very slow to grow from seed. That's the reason why collectors like me would rely on offshoots or pops. Anyway, propagating seeds are not that easy to begin with. Believe me, I tried it, well, indoors actually, and it requires a lot of patience, like really. I have a link of the video on how I started growing air plants from seeds down in the descriptions below. Depending on the tilancha species, the offsets will grow in different ways. Some air plants produce pops around the base or root system, and others sprout them from underneath one of the leaves, which actually is serving as protection for the young tilancha pop as well. By the way, I'm gonna upload a video update on my air plant pops soon. Please stay tuned. If you're also really patient enough, you can leave the pops unseparated from the mother air plant. In this way, the offsets will continue to form a clump, which can grow to be quite impressive, so to speak. You can actually hang them like the Tilancia Shidiana, for example. The pops will be allowed to grow 360 degrees and should eventually form a spherical clump. Spherical, you know, like a, like a ball. With the right conditions, these air plant clumps can present multiple blooms as the individual pops continue the process through maturity, eventually blooming and continuing to produce their own pops as well. So how do we encourage pop production? Tilancha would require ample light. Indirect sunlight would be best. You just need to keep in mind that the level and intensity that your air plant prefers will vary based on uh, the type of tilancha that you have. Mm. So watering can also be tricky, but when you get to know your air plant's need and make it happy, it will give you pops, like, definitely. Mm. Another important factor is airflow. They're not called air plants for nothing. I mean, it's in the name, for, it, for goodness sake. Air. Mm. You can also use a fertilizer that is specifically formulated for tilancha to speed up the blooming process and pop production. But then again, you should also keep in mind that fertilizer should be used in moderation and does not replace proper care uh, or conditions. So it's really not necessary for you to use it. Again, it's really not necessary. How often do air plants produce pops? This usually happens once the air plant has gone through the bloom cycle. However, in my experience, not a lot, but you know, seriously. Some air plants would even produce pops first before even blooming. So you can't really tell. Usually once an air plant has gone through the bloom cycle, it will produce offsets or pops with the proper conditions. Before, during, or after blooming, depending on the species of course, an air plant will start producing pops, right? So most air plants will produce between two to eight pops. If you're lucky, up to eight pops, I think it's possible. That's what I read. Fun fact though, each air plant will flower only once in its lifetime. Doesn't sound fun though, yeah. Better enjoy those precious plums, if you know what I mean. When can you separate baby air plants? Well, if you're not into spherical clumps, it takes forever, or even never for some air plants. Anyway, these baby air plants, which start out very small, will eventually grow into their own mother plants. The pops can safely be separated from the mother plant when they're about one third to one half its size. I've got some of them that I haven't separated yet. I'm gonna post a video about it as well, so better stay tuned. However, separating pops would also give enough energy to the mother air plant to produce more, you know, just like other plants. Same as cutting off flower stalks to allow the air plant to start producing pumps. But then again, that would also be a part of a different video. So if you have any other comments, suggestions, or anything that you'd like to say or share, please don't hesitate to put it in the comment section down below. 
and I have started with the Elf Talks um, playlist um, in my channel and that's where I react to your comments or answer your comments and um, you know in an elf look because you know some people ask for it so we're giving them okay so that's it for today thank you very much for watching another video of the underground garden with around me thank you very much guys for being there and i hope to see you again on